Hello. Um, it's been quite a while since I've uh, since I've been in the garage and done any work to uh, to Gracie, my '65 Miner. Um, I have quite a lot of welding to do, and to be honest with you, um, as you may have seen before, this metal here is just so thin, so I'm going to have to cut it out back to some uh, back to some solid metal. Um, it got to me a little bit, so I stepped away from it for a while. But uh, but yeah, now I'm back. I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I think the next step is just to cut back to some solid metal. Put a strip in all the way around. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't actually need to go all the way around, but uh, there are some gaps that need to be uh, that need to be filled, and I've done from there down. So yeah, that will be almost that side finished. Um, yeah, it seems to have taken ages. I managed to get over the uh, the lead filling. Uh, I've taken advice from people, and they just say just leave it and fill it with some um, glass fibre matting to fill the holes, and then go over the top with some um, with some filler. I'll see. I'll see. I'll do something with it. But yeah, well, I've managed to get round so you can see obviously where the joint was that was originally there. Um, so, yeah, whilst I've not been doing any bodywork, um, I have had the engine block um, drilled and tapped. Um, obviously the engine is upside down at the moment, but I've had it rebored. So it's now 1330, been rebored to 1330. I've had the crank, the crank is under the bench, but I've had the crank line board in with the um, the journals so that's all good um, and one of the uh, more knowledgeable people on the Morris Minor Owners Forum, Phil the Hill, um, he suggested drilling and tapping these oilways. The oilways I may have told you previously run the length of the uh, run the length of the engine on either side um, this one goes right through. You can't really see it on this side, but it, it does come to the other side. Um, so he said, if I'm going to rebuild it in order to get the oilways clear, these little um, plugs, uh, brass, um, just I've taken them out and re-drilled uh, and tapped them to accept um, this screw. Can't remember what they what they're called at the moment. Um, look like a blanking screw, and basically that screws into the. It goes flush. Well, this one goes actually just slightly below the uh, the face of the block, because the the engine plates have to go on the front and rear, so that has to go below the block. So I've had those two done, but I just want to show you something in relation to uh, what else. Um, the oil pressure relief valve is here, um, and also on on the, the bottom of the block, you remember this engine is upside down, um, there was a little brass uh, plug on there and there was also one on the side of the block. I had those uh, drilled and tapped and they put the uh, the plugs back in. They said it was all ready to go, um, obviously I didn't uh, accept that and luckily I didn't because bear in mind this is the oil way. Um, they said it has all been cleaned out and you, only, you can look and you can see the iron, iron or the steel filings that are in there, look at all that lot and that's in the oil way so you can just imagine what all that lot would have done had you just gone in and uh, fitted the uh, fitted the engine you know that this all this was within this cavity so obviously this runs down comes through there right at the bottom um, yeah as far in as I can get my finger I'm, pu I'm pulling out filings so yeah if you do have any uh, have any work done on the uh, on the block just make sure that you uh, you clean it all out this is all going to be cleaned out anyway I've got quite a lot of work to do cleaning this out um, I'm going to seal it put a sump on it turn it upside down put some uh, welsh plugs in Fill it with some water and caustic soda, and uh, all this uh, oxidisation on the uh, on the inside here will hopefully um, 
will hopefully go and leave me with some clean metal. But yeah, so that's about it. It's uh, it's almost ready to go now. I'm ready to be cleaned out, should I say? Um, you can't really see in there, I don't think. But uh, yeah, it is a bit uh, it is a bit rusty, but it will clean up. As I say, from what the uh, from what the block was like when I first got it, um, I have got some pictures. I'll try and uh, I'll try and show you. But I think it was on one of the videos. You know, it really was rusty in here. Um, but yeah, it's reboard nicely. So we've got a 13, 1330 block. Um, the plan is then to put the crank on, which has been board overboard to plus 10 power, I think. Um, I've got some Cooper S rods, which are going to go in. Um, some bigger pistons. And then do some head work on it. So I've got a 12G 940 head to go on. So yeah, it should... Uh, I'm hoping it will be a nice little talking motor. Um, the cam I'm going to use... I haven't decided as yet, but it's going to be uh, uh, something like a, um, an SW5 or an SW7 from Swift Tune or something similar to that to give me a, a little bit of low down torque. I don't want it to rev too much. So yeah, yeah. So that's where we're up to with the engine. Um, like I say, I'm just going to spend some time now cleaning it. Um, probably spend a couple of days cleaning it, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.